it seems as though the days go on, we are seeing more and more voices, specifically high-ranking officials, come out and tell the truth about what's going on in Ukraine. This next clip I'd like to share with you, it's short, but it's really important and I think you should watch it. It's of the former commander of the Australian Special Forces. So this is in no way, shape or form a guy who's expected to be in the position of a Putin propagandist. You know, this is not like the Chinese military speaking. This is the former commander of the Australian Special Forces speaking about uh, what's going on in Ukraine and Russia right now. Take a listen. I mentioned this a couple of times, so forgive me if you've heard this before, but it's important a lot of people haven't heard it. What's going on in Ukraine? First of all, it's a massive distraction. They're trying to distract you away from what's really going on in, in every, every, everybody, everybody's home country. Now, the Ukraine is, uh, this is not what you think it is. The Ukraine, let's get technical first. The Ukraine is not a sovereign state. It does not have internationally recognized sovereign borders. It's still part of Russia. It has been since the 10th century. How about that? Now, lots happened in between. We understand that. But this is like Russia invading Russia. That's all it is. Now, second point, the Ukrainian people are very upset, particularly the Ukrainians in Australia. I get it. But guess what? You've been lied to, just like the Australian people have been lied to. We think we're a sovereign nation. We're not. The Ukrainians think they're a sovereign nation. They are not. See, the truth is slowly going to come out about what's really going on. And what's really going on is this. The Ukraine has been the center of, uh, of the globalists for decades and decades and decades, 70 years at least. CIA which is not a good organization. They're, they're the, the implementers of deep state, let's say. They've been working this in the Ukraine for 70 years, building up a resistance to everybody and everything. Why? Because they needed to bring the Soviet Union down, but they also want the resources that are in the Ukraine. That's what this is all about, particularly eastern Ukraine, massive natural resources that CIA goes in, gets control of, and American business interests, and they're not business, they're just robber barons. They're not legitimate businessmen. They just want to steal, and that's what goes on. And so they're taking that away from from the from russia and the ukraine and on top of that it's the center of the deep state and so by vlad putin going in he's cutting the head off the snake once ukraine goes down because they've already taken out the capital of uh kazakhstan and if you want to have a look at what's weird go look at the the architecture in kazakhstan and and tell me this is normal architectural uh buildings of a struggling nation but ukraine that's the head of the snake and vlad's taking the head off once the head comes off the whole beast will die. So that's what's actually going on, folks. So please, they are going to tell you their stories about um, possible nuclear war and Vlad's the bad man. This is the war with Russia that they wanted with Hillary Clinton as president because she lost. The whole war against Russia was postponed. This is the plan they always had to destroy Russia because they don't have a, a banking system that is under the Rothschilds. What a, you know, what a dangerous <laughs> course of action that is. And they want to get a hold of the resources. This is them taking down. Anyway, so Vlad's taking down deep state. He's helping. He's cutting the head off the snake. So that's what's going on. So ignore all the uh, the chatter you're going to hear over the next little while about potential nuclear war and uh, Russia's attempt to take over the globe. Completely the opposite. So that's the Ukraine. And uh, so pay attention. But please do your own research. Don't, um, for goodness sake, <laughs> don't watch mainstream media because uh, if their lips are moving, just like the politicians, if the media's lips are moving, they're lying.